A test bench is just a special type of module that a program like ModelSim can use to control a simulation of a project. A test bench module has a few idiosyncrasies you need to be aware of. First, before the module declaration, you need to put a backtick symbol, followed by the keyword timescale, and then 1 nanosecond slash 1 nanosecond. This just sets the units for the simulation graph, and has nothing to do with the speed the simulation actually runs at. Second, it doesn't need any ports. Notice there are no inputs or outputs. Third, you can see there's an instance of the system module on the test bench called UUT, short for Unit Under Test. Even though system is the top level module in the design, ModelSim will treat the test bench as the top level module for its simulation. The inputs that the test bench connects to UUT are declared as registers. This is because they store a value for a period of time. Those values are controlled by the test bench. The output connected to system is declared as a wire. Even though the wire isn't connected to anything, its value can still be read by ModelSim. And finally, the weirdest part is the initial block at the bottom. Its purpose is to change the values of the inputs over time. The first line of the initial block happens right at the start of the simulation, and the input assignments in that line happen simultaneously. The hash 10 below it indicates that the simulation should wait for 10 ModelSim clock cycles, the length of which was defined by the time scale. This will show up on the wave graph in ModelSim. After the 10 cycles are up, the next set of assignments occur, followed by another wait period, and so on. When the stop keyword is reached, the simulation ends.